Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix and today we're going to be looking at FTP and how we can use FTP to submit jobs. Now one of the good things about the community work especially led by Jurgen Winkelmann the maintainer of TK4 is that we can submit submit jobs to MBS uh, and ZOS through the FTP uh, route and uh, I've never shown this in previous videos before, but it's absolutely possible to submit a job, a job through FTP to MBS 3.8 TK4 or, and, or also to ZOS. And I'm gonna be showing in this video how to accomplish both. And also in this video, I'm gonna show a little utility was released last week by a community member um, called Submit, uh, written in Python, interestingly enough, that uh, automates submitting of jobs to uh, ZOS. Uh, it could be made to work easily, I guess, uh, for MBS um, 3.8 TK4, but it's easy enough also to do by hand. So, um, but so we will not be using the tool for that. But it can be done by hand for both systems, uh, MBS and ZOS. Um, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. So I have here, to get started, I have here a freshly downloaded copy of uh, TK4. I just unzipped it. After we unzip, I always go to unattended. Oh, well, let me make the fonts maybe a little bit bigger here. Uh, change settings, appearance. Let's use 18. Okay, so this makes it a little easier for all of you to look at this, especially those with the smaller screens on phones and small tablets. <clears throat> so I always set console mode. Um, so that we get the uh, full MVS console uh, to work on. And then let me start a screen session. So we have several screens to work with. I, I suggest you either start working with screen or with Tmux. Um, there's others, um, Biobu is another one. Just choose one and stick with it so you don't have to research the commands and the key combinations all the time. I use screen because it kind of works. Uh, Tmux is just as good. So um, we start MBS. And this is a freshly downloaded TK4. So all the standard passwords and everything are in place. While this comes up, um, let's go and no, first of all, let's wait until it's up. We're not going to be using, in this video, we're not going to be using the uh, 3270 terminal emulator at all. We're going to avoid all that and instead just work from the Unix um, or Linux command line, which is what I'm using here. But this all works just as well from Windows, obviously. So let's see if this is up. Yeah, it is up. Okay. So now that it's up and running, I can start the FTP daemon inside MBS 3.8 because we're going to do MBS first and we'll look at ZOS later. Uh, FTP D server port equals, let's use 21,000. The normal FTP port, as you all know, as every child in the land knows, is 21. Um, but I'm going to be using 2100, 2100 here um, to signify that when we go to port 2100, we go to the FTP daemon server inside MBS. Now, one thing to understand is that there is, and I see this confusion all the time, that while we are able to use uh, both email and FTP um, uh, as soon with TK4 update 9, even the full TCP IP stack capability on the programming side, on the API side, there is no TCP IP stack running inside MBS. It is using the TCP IP stack of the host system, in this case, Linux. Um, it's, just, it's just using a channel through the Hercules interface and it only works with uh, Hercules and it only works with TK4. Uh, there is a, a, a di diagnose instruction X75, which uh, was developed by a person called Jason Winter, I think. Um, I could be mistaken though, which is a diagnose instruction as a way in the S37 architecture to um, to cause the hardware to react 
uh, to certain instructions. So you can, in a way, define your instructions. And so by doing this Diagnose 75, X75 instruction, um, uh, there is a way to have FTP respond to TCP IP requests. Um, so it's, but there is no TCP IP stack running inside MVS. That is very, it doesn't have its own IP address. It can only answer to the IP address of the host uh, machine. So once this is up, uh, again, as you can see here, FTPD is up with server port 2100. We can now, I need a job to submit. So first of all, let's log in to extract the job. Um, let's go localhost port 2100, okay? Oop, why is this not working? FTP localhost 2100, yes. And as you know, herd01 is the user, see you later is the password as defined in, in the manual of the TK4 system. Now let's go to uh, sys to jclib and we have all these jobs. Uh, we're going to get this job here, prime pl1. So ASCII, obviously, get prime pl1. And there are some, uh, this is a very basic version of the FTP daemon that's running inside MVS. So sometimes it's a little finicky about uh, case, uppercase, lowercase. Um, so you have to you have to be a little patient with it. Um, I mean, it's 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 already a lot to have FTP daemon running inside MVS, which if, if you if you if you keep in mind that MVS 3.8 was released in 82, 83. <laughs> Uh, long before TCP IP was a widespread protocol uh, it's a huge accomplishment by the community so we downloaded this job um, and uh, where is it here it is so we're going to be submitting this now through the FTP interface now before we do that um, I want to change some stuff here Oops. for PL1 class A so it goes to the printer we can go look at it in the printer we will not be using a 3270 at all um, now one thing when you submit something through the FTP uh, interface uh, you need to put in because you're coming from an external uh, way from an external access you need to specify a, uh, a user user equals herder1 and password equals see you later very important if you don't uh, of course you need to put in a comma here because you're still in the same job card um, I, hope, I hope i'm not teaching anything new here um, let's remove this line see if i can remove it okay so this is all still the job card all of this it's just spread out over six or seven lines. And now we uh, invoke the procedure to compile PL1 program. And this is a, a prime number generator. And, and so now that we have it uh, nice and ready, we're gonna be, so there's a mistake there. Obviously job needs to be separated. Okay, so like this. Um, and now we're going to be using FTP localhost card zero one. Um, see you later. And now um, oh, I may have made a mistake here. Yeah. So the command I just have to look it up um, is put prime pl1 in our case and the special file called aa internal reader and if you if you save this file into the special file it's not actual file it's a virtual file it, then FTP takes it and submits it to the internal reader and so now we should be able to go to the printer here and look at the output 
and here it is. Um, so we submitted this job. Just the job we just submitted. Yeah, here it is. So this works beautifully. Yeah, here's our job. And um, let's change something so that we can see that it's actually us. Um, so, yeah, fine. And let's call it second run. You don't technically have to be uppercase within the quotes here, but I like to have everything nice and tidy. Second run. Okay. And now we connect again. Zero one. See you later. ASCII. And then we say put prime PL1 to the internal reader. Oops. What was it? A A internal reader. Yes. And now let's go here again and Yeah, here it is, second run. Okay, so this way, if you set yourself up nicely, um, you could have an editor such as uh, this one here, my uh, favorite Windows uh, programming editor, and then have set it up so when you submit something, it actually executes an FTP into your MVS. And then if you open up here, the um, if you know open up the reader file this reader this printer file in this case here it's um, print 00e because this is the class A printer then you get the output there and this way you never have to open an IS uh, uh, the 3270 terminal you never have to learn another editor all you do is you work with Windows or Linux editor that has syntax highlighting whatever you like and um, and and submit this way now there is a very special there's a very special editor called ISPF Lite which is made to submit to jobs has a submit feature um, that it it actually submits it um, to Hercules this uh, SPF Lite editor is aware of Hercules and you can s submit things through the internal reader, through the card reader of Hercules. Um, and But you could easily change it. It, it, it submits it to the FTP daemon. Um, so this is one easy way to work without ever starting. As you can see here, I never started a 3270 emulator. Um, I have, of course, uh, the console here. And you can see here all the jobs that we've run. But, and FTP here is running, but we never opened a 3270 emulation session. And you can do just fine. You could also, of course, um, read it through the card reader. So let's try that. Um, dev, uh, let's see, what is the device number? I think 00C, yes. This is the card reader. So let's do dev in 00C. And then there should be, yep. Okay, so it read in the job and it printed out to class A305 lines. So, uh, what, is the, what is the job number? Job number four. Let's go look for it. Here it is, job number four. Okay, so these are two ways you can run jobs. You never have to open a 3270 session. And that's an easy way to do it. Um, so now that we've done this part, let's look at ZOS. Now in ZOS, there is uh, a way to submit jobs and even get the spooled output back. So you don't have to go look for it in a, because obviously um, the ZOS that I connect to is running on a real machine and it's connected to real printer. So if I print class A, it's gonna to go to real printer, I'm never gonna get it back. So the only way to get the output back, the listing from the job processing, is to have 
uh, read it back from the SDSF uh, uh, spool viewer, from the JS2 spool queues. And so let's, now we've done this, let's go to something called Now here, um, let's see how to connect. Let's copy first of all the job. Uh, copy MBS Prime. Yeah, but that's never going to run on ZOS. Um, I have a different job. Let's go to submit, and I want to copy jobs. Let's copy it here. I have a job ready called WTMOSHE. And what it does is it runs a job on a system. It's an assembly program. It, it assembles a, prog a simple assembly program that writes onto the console here and, and then returns. Very simple job. And so there is a way in ZOS to uh, to also submit it through FTP. And you can research more about it, submit jobs to FTP COS. The way to do this is if you set, if you connect and set file type to JS. Um, so let's do this. FTP, what was it? FTP. Okay, I have my own ZOS instance running there. Uh, what is the user ID? I'll have to stop here and go check the user ID. And I don't want to show the password, so I'll better disconnect for a second. I'll reconnect right back. So I haven't had time yet to, I'm back by the way, I haven't had time to set up a second user, so I'll be connecting as um, IBM user. Even though, of course, you should never do that. Uh, okay. So now we're logged in, and we need to see um, here set file type to JS. Oop. Why? Site file type equals JS. Yes, of uh, errors in their own documentation. And then uh, we can try put w2 mosche yes and so the job was uh, was submitted now how do we uh, how do we get it back here's the output by doing an ls we can now say um, get get um, First of all, and get having user zero. Not this one. Okay, so and here is the output. Okay, so this ran with um, this return code zero, no problem. Oh, job failed. What failed? Procedure name was expanded. Does not result 19. Word. Then we set, set file type equals chess. Site file type equals chess. Site. Then ASCII. And put WTO right to operator. That's what WTO stands. 
before. Okay, so this was, and then, yeah, here's our job. It's already back. And notice that we haven't used a, a, a 3270 session at all. Get IBM user one. Why is that? Get IBM user. Oh, and get IBM user one. Not uh, we want two four seven seven. So not this one. Not this one. Yes, this one. Okay, let's look at it. And it takes it down with the name of the job. So we can also just do a get with the name with the job number. And so there is something here. Nineteen. Sissel mod. Let's see why this is not going through. Hmm. There's some kind of uh, JCL error. I will have to look into it. This job was not written for this system, so maybe the data sets are named differently. This is. Um, a SEO system running at IBM, so I don't know how they name their stuff, but but the, the 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 point is that it's very simple to submit and retrieve. So if you set up your editor, you could also have the editors. You know, once you finished, you press a key combination, submits it through FTP, and then retrieves it back. Um, and now uh, there is, so th we've seen how to submit jobs and get the output back. Now somebody here. wrote a, a program called submit and i'm going to make it available by this gentleman here john murray he wrote a python script that automates all that you just give it a um the job that you want to submit you tell it where to to what host which one user id which password and and then it it, it submits it and gets the output back. Now I had to change this uh, quite a bit from what John sent me. It worked fine the way John sent me, but I wanted to change some stuff. Um, first of all, trace was enabled, so it was uh, Python does uh, extensive tracing, and so we print off kind of trace messages on the screen, which I didn't like. So I did here at the bottom. I did all this exception handling here, so we could remove the the trace back messages so I put in some stuff here and and then a bunch of other things I also uh, changed the way that it puts in I put in a a timestamp before we file before we save the uh, listing the job output because I want to be able to sort it so I create a timestamp here and then I add the timestamp to the name of the, of the file and I did a bunch of other changes and I don't remember them all. I got this yesterday and I was playing for it, with it for a little bit, but I forgot already all the changes I met, made to it. Uh, but well, let's try to submit it. Uh, submit. And then I have uh, jobs. WTO. And of course it wants as users host specified. So what I do here is I will have to specify, I do an, I'm, I'm in bash, so I do export um, zos user equals IBM user, and, and then I will have to disconnect here so you don't see the password, and um, so I will, I will set the environment, and uh, I don't want you to see the password, so I'll I'll quickly disconnect and reconnect when all this is set. Be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. So I set up the proper environment. And so now let's try to submit. Well, I have uh, I have your directory. Well, with a bunch of jobs defined. So I'm just gonna use one of this. Um, submit. And I'll make this program available on my uh, MVS instance in the cloud, with which all of you are invited to apply for an account. 
um, I'll be post posting here the website you can go to and fill out a very simple form and then get uh, get your own account and um, or I'll also can put it on my github repository but I'll prefer to have it here uh, there are no rights by the way uh, as you can see here uh, Mary is very generous with no rights reserved so it's copyright by him but we're free to distribute it with it whatever we want and I'm sure it's going to be working I already told him some enhancement um, ideas that I had I would like to set this up in principle like uh, something like this like uh, midnight commander so you can choose a job and then press a function here at the bottom and it will send it uh, it shouldn't be too hard to do if I have time maybe I'll do it myself so um, so now that I set the environment before let's do jobs and it's now it's submitting it and now we can do the listings and my output is here so it puts in here the job that it submitted the way it looks when it submitted it as well as the output and here's the output of course it has the same problem because some data set is undefined but I don't have time to look into it right now but you get the gist so it's a very useful command uh, if you want to submit work to ZOS through the FTP interface now however to, for FTP job submission to work, you need something called uh, the uh, JS interface level be set to two in ZOS. Yeah, and for that you need to go to the configuration of the FTP uh, daemon that's running inside ZOS and change it from one if it is one to two. Some I've seen some installations where it was by default two and i've seen somewhere it was by one so let's go in ftp p uh, what was it oh. okay We need to go find this data set tcpip.ftp.data or whatever it is called in your installation and there uh, you change it from just interface level one if it's defined as one to just interface level equals two that's really all there is to it so it has to say just interface level equals two after that you need to restart your ftp server and if it says it like that then you're you will be able to submit from the uh, from the FTP uh, interface. Now, there's some other commands you can do uh, if you were, if you're logged in on the FTP. You say site site file type equals chess owner equals IBM user, and so now it only shows your again FTP uh, IBM user and I say site file type equals chess owner equals IBM user uh, what was the oh, uh, chess owner equals IBM user and now we should only see why does this oh you see that's my problem just interface level equals one so for me to specify anything other than uh, just a very simple command it needs to be changed to just interface level equals two um, and so I can do it because I'm IBM user on that system which is running on the ZVM of course I have my own um, ZOS system but once I specify and restart then I can change uh, just owner so as you can see here this is a system where it's set to one it's very good we did that so we saw the issue here but it still works for submission and for retrieval and um, 
if you or have your own zero system then you would know how to go change that in the ftp.data if you're otherwise you can ask your system and programmer if is she is willing to change it to just interface level two um, so this is how we work with ftps job submission and, and listing retrieval for both mbs and for zos um, i hope you had fun watching this uh, i would urge you all to get your an account free account on the MBS 3.8 uh, system running in the cloud, which we can access from anywhere. It's running 24 seven. You don't need your own uh, system to be up and running all the time for you to access uh, MBS. I'll be posting the uh, modified uh, script here from John Murray there with the changes I made to it, timestamp and, and removing the traceback messages and uh, be free of course to enhance it there's no protection on this whatsoever no no license so this is it i hope you had fun watching this please do subscribe to the motion expand from channel to get notified of future videos if you like this particular video please do press on the thumbs up button i always like those and see you soon thank you very much